What's up everybody, FBrock1 here with another video. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, I appreciate it. Without you, I can't grow. Um, if you're a new viewer, I'd like to say thank you to you too because hey, maybe I can provide some content that'll bring you back. Um, this subject is gonna be a little bit touchy for my sneaker heads. They might just get a little bit upset uh, about how I feel about this particular topic, but hey, we're gonna talk about it, so let's go. Really, nigga? All right, so hopefully none of you had a heart attack. Trust me, I'm a sneakerhead at heart, and it definitely hurt me to do my shoes like that. So first things first, I want to get that out the way. But the main purpose of me making this video is to show you that these material things cannot build assets for you that are going to add to your net worth. Shoes just don't retain their value. After a while, you wear them, they get old, and you know, uh, you can possibly get them refurbished, but is that really in most people's budget? I watch a lot of these videos on YouTube, and they show like these big time artists, and they're buying these one of one shoes uh, for twenty, thirty, even forty thousand dollars. I mean, in reality, for the common guy, like you and me, is that really something that's feasible for us? Like, be real. You know, I just want you to, you know, especially if I got some, some folks that are just coming in to making a little bit of money, you want to make sure that you invest that money in good places that later on down the road, you can get a return from. If you count the number of shoes I had, that's almost twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 that I could have put somewhere else and, you know, depending on how the market is, I know it's pretty scary right now, but depending on what I'm investing in, you get a return, you know, um, being conservative, three, four, five percent, man, you're just not going to get that type of money on some shoes. You know, what are you going to do? Take them and flip them for maybe 50, a hundred dollars more. That's just, you know, that makes zero sense to me. That's kind of like hustling backwards. So. It's nothing wrong with enjoying your shoes, get the wear out of them, look nice, but just don't expect the big time return that you see on TV. It's not realistic. And if you're thinking about the smart goals for yourself, realistic is very important. And I'm going to say that again, being realistic about what you want to achieve in life is very important because if you set goals for yourself that are uh, unachievable, you're just setting yourself up for failure and that's definitely not what I want you to do. So let's have a discussion about it. Leave some comments below and hopefully, you know, you might be able to impact somebody's life who wasn't even expecting it. So once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody who takes the time out of their day to get something from my content. And uh, until the next video.